Makeup artists dedicate their life's work to perfecting their craft. And today, our makeup artist, Susan Morales, is pulling back that curtain and letting us in on some of those professional makeup artist tricks. Now, before we get to what, what they are, I want to ask you, what's the number one trick that you use on yourself? On myself, it's I mix everything. Okay. And that's one trick that I'm going to share with you also. I just love mixing. I see you doing that all the time. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. So we're going to get right to it. So the first one is you say, always do your makeup in a natural light. Natural light is the best way to do your makeup and make sure to stand in front of the light if you don't have a natural like sunlight, light right sunlight yes make sure to stand because a lot of people they go against the yes. light but it creates a shadow okay. so make sure to stand in front and if you don't have the proper natural light make sure to have a natural bulb light, bulb light. okay that will help you like the daylight bulb that's how they yes. call it so to make sure that you have the right light on your face because how many times do you step outside and you're like i have way too much makeup Surprise! on yeah. <laughs> And another one that you say is you say brighten up your skin with peach tones. Yes, if you have a dull or tired face, mm -hmm. apricot or uh, peach uh, primer, it will help you to... For any give skin you, tone? For any skin tone. For your skin tone will be apricot uh, color, so this is a good option. Okay. Now, we don't always have our beauty sleep. Yes. It can happen, so we have those red eyes that create, like, we look really tired. So this is a lifesaver, just eye drops. Just start off your, your day if you know your eyes are red couple drops two boom. seconds and after a minute you brightens have up. brights up your eyes yes I so this it. is a must okay get rid of redness with eye drops and then you say use your beauty blender to apply foundation and yes. concealer yes I've it's a must that. I think for if you struggle with your foundation or, or, or with your concealer please you have to use a beauty blender this is really an easy tool it, you just need a bit of water and then you apply your foundation. It blends really well and it gives you that beautiful finish. Okay, so you just said something that's really key here. Hydration in the beauty blender. Yes. Always important. Always important. What about a dry one? Will you get the same effect? You will not get the same effect. You and won't. that's the magic with the beauty blender. Okay, so use a powder to blot your lipstick. Now, you're going to try this on me. I have yes. no idea what you're talking about. It's very easy. So, okay. Kleenex, you just need Kleenex. And you know, there's a lot of layers on a Kleenex. Just, you just Separate need the one. Ply. Okay, so you one. make it one ply. One ply. And then you just use the powder yeah. with a brush. You press on oh, the lips. Right on the lips. Yes, right on the lips. And you apply it like this. It will last. For, for you, you have gloss, so it will create that beautiful matte look. Ta-da! And it oh, will last. There you go. And you'll have lipstick all day long. <laughs> all day long, Well, this yes. is fantastic. Okay, so mixing foundation with moisturizer, I've never done that. Wouldn't it uh, take away from the, the, the tint, the color? It gives you a nice uh, light coverage, but also it helps to have that beautiful finish. Okay. So it can be moisturizer or it can be a highlighter. Okay, highlighter what's the difference? Will, highlighter will give you that beautiful glow. I love doing that. This okay. is one of my tricks. Is this what you have going on now? Because yes. it's glowing your I did skin. It. <laughs> I love it. Okay. And so this is really a good trick if you're having a hard time with your foundation. Okay, that's smart. Okay. Scotch tape. Now I know this is for the eyeliner thing. Yes. But even though you're using this to apply the eyeliner, how do you know where to put it? So you will it practice, practice, practice. It's okay. never enough. So you can use Q-tips also. Um, sorry, scotch tape for eyeshadow also yes. to finish while your eyeshadow and make sure to press it on your skin before to remove the glue and then you put it on your face because then it's not sticky. Mm. So and then you get that perfect line. I saw exactly. people using spoons. You're saying yes. use, use uh, some tape here. Okay, so cotton swabs are a must for corrections. Yes. Because cotton swabs clean up everything under the eye, the, uh, the lid, the mascara. Everywhere. There's so many ways to use a uh, cotton swab, but this is really a good tool to correct anything. So for your lipstick, yeah. for your mascara, anything that you mess on your face, just use it fast and it will remove it automatically. So you don't even need to put water, nothing. You just... Correct That's whatever it. you Boom. yes any mistake. and you don't have to to reapply makeup because half the time you're just dabbing anyway exactly okay this is really interesting here yes contact lens solution so you know how for expensive dry mascara. our mascara is yes so this is 30 35 dollars 40 dollar mascara this is one of my favorite mascara and it's a this bit dry is dry yes so what do you need to do whenever it's dry use just one or two drop you don't, of, you're not going crazy. No, that's Two, it. That's, that's, that's more than enough. And then you will be able to reuse your mascara look. Do you go and get it from the side too? Like Yes, you can do it like because it, it's oh, normal yes. that your mascara look gets dry. It's normal with time. Look at that. But this will save it a bit longer. It's back. Okay, yes. I love it. Okay, this is really interesting here. Heat your eyelash curler with your hair dryer. <laughs> yes, this is, so they sell heater for like your, your lashes. lashes, but it doesn't last. So you yes. need to, also you need a battery. This is really perfect. You just use your hair uh, dryer and for 30 seconds. Like this. Yes, you heat it up for 30 seconds 
and then it will curl your lashes. This is a must tool for your lashes. <laughs> I use it every day. Okay, this is what we were saying about mixing. I live by this because of you. Yes. Mixing your lipsticks all the time. Now, I do this all the time. I have a palette, I just go across, yes. put them all on. Why, why is it so different than just applying one color? Well, first of all, we all have a lot of lipstick, so I am guilty of that pleasure, and a lot of women do that. They do have a <laughs> lot of lipstick. So sometimes you get bored of one particular color, so just mix it. Have fun with your lipstick. We never have enough lipstick, that's my rule. Yeah. It's fun to have a lot of different lipstick, but when you mix, it creates like a beautiful shade. And I have to say that I'm proud of you, Katrin, because you're a good Thank student. Thank you. I've been perfecting it. Well, there you go, yes. you guys. Amazing <laughs> tricks. Susan Morales always bringing it. Stay tuned to Breakfast Television. So much more coming up. <laughs>